Armour, first and foremost, thank you for inviting us into your home. What are we coming up to sort of 18 months? Does it feel like home? Yeah, it does. Um, like you said, being here 18 months now, coming up to that. Um, you know, family's all settled in. It's been a it's been pretty easy to move in really. It's been a you know, I've been away since I was 17, 18, so it's been it's been pretty eye-opening, you know, seeing different places and settling in, but I feel like me and my family settle in quite well and we're all buzzing. And here's Adam Armstrong in the box, one on one, and he scores on his debut for Southampton. You said you've kind of moved around a bit in your career already, but never this far south. Mm. Has that been different in terms of like the family dynamic? I think at first it was probably a little worry, but there's a there's a flight every day from Newcastle to Southampton, and you know he, my family are happy to drive down, you know. But like you said, they, they love the football and they love coming to the game, so that's that's the main thing. And they come home and away. Yeah, they try to uh, as much as they can, really. Um, but they always come to the home game, which is a, which is good, and we can kind of make a weekend of it as well. So it's not just the coming and then going straight away. It's pretty nice. So we're here in the kitchen. Hmm. Who does the cooking? Uh, not me. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that to my wife. She does all the cooking. And a little one on the way as well. Mm. Everything's about to change in your life. Just tell us what's the latest on the new arrival. Yeah, wife's due on um, 16th of November, so it could come any time now. It's, it's like you said again, it's eye-opening, you know, being a to be a parent, and it's something that we're looking forward to. And hopefully, I know that we'll we'll be fine. Boy or girl? Uh, it's a little boy, so we haven't kicked no football around in no time. Great stuff. All right. So, do you mind just leading the way and kind of? Showing us a bit more of your house? Yeah, well, yeah. I know we've already talked about it, but obviously your parents are so far away. Are you going to be leaning on them to come down and visit a little bit more and help out with the childcare? Yeah, I think we will, you know. it's. But I guess that's the part of growing up, you know, you've got to look after yourselves. But of course, we've got family who will be coming down to, to help us and to help Becca when I'm at training and stuff. So, yeah, but I think family is always a, a big help and we're lucky enough that we can have that for them to come down. Is it going to come at a good time for you with the break? Is that a blessing? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Um, hopefully, touch wood, if everything's all right, then I have obviously the two weeks with the two weeks off with with the baby. Um, I don't think many footballers can say that they had that with the, with one of the child. So, yeah, that'll be nice to be around, you know, every, every day and and get really tired and stuff. <laughs> Got um, the, the games room in yeah. here. Some don't want to get in the way, but there's some shirts and stuff. Are you big on like memorabilia in football and swapping shirts and things like um, that? I w not so much swapping shirts, it's been mostly things that are related to me. Uh, so like trophies and, and shirts that are mine that I've had success with. And, and I don't really collect many shirts, but I think it's something that I'd like to start doing because you know when you come to retire, I think that would be an amazing thing to see where all them players were and how they've done in their career. Nice thing to show your son as well in the future. Yeah, that's that's probably the main thing now, you know, becoming a dad, it's um, seeing everything that I had and, and what I achieved in my career and hopefully he, he could be the same. What are you sort of most proud of? Doesn't necessarily have to be something here, but in your career that, you know, means the most to you? Um, I think a big one for every kid is your debut. Uh, and I was lucky enough for my debut to be the Premier League debut for Newcastle. Um, I'd say that and obviously winning some tournaments with, with England, uh, the World Cup and the uh, Euros when I was under 17. So, yeah, it seems a while ago now, but then we're, then we're definitely three that, that's sticking to mind. So, Euros under 17s and World Cup under 20s? Yeah. A lot of that was the same sort of group of players? Was um, it? Yeah, it actually was. I think for the under 17 squad and the 20s, we had, um, I think there was seven players who were, were in both of, both of them squads. and. I think if you look at our World Cup squad now, I think everyone's still playing and playing at the top level. So it's it's um, we had an unbelievable group um, and performed quite well on the pitch together. And the gaming, how much time yeah. do you spend in here? Be honest. Um, yeah, I spend quite a lot of time in here, but I think that's going to get cut short when the when the baby arrives. But no, I like to, I like to spend a bit of time in here, you know, after training and stuff, and speak to friends from back home. And that's probably the main reason I play it, you know, to keep in touch with friends back home and see how they're doing. Do you play with any of the other lads at Saints? Yeah, I played a bit of bit of FIFA and COD with Shea. Um, but Shea's the proper gamer. I think he's the he's the best at how both games will play. So yeah. You can see um, Man of the Match award behind you. What which game was that? Yeah, that was uh, Aston Villa at home and won one 0 Oh yeah, with the early yeah, goal. Yeah, that was a um, a nice goal and a great win. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know another one under the lights that comes to mind was the Chelsea game yeah. this season. Mm. How special is that feeling to get the winner in a game like that? Yeah, unreal. You know, I think the week leading up to that, you know, I think we should have had a result at Man United and we played really well that game and we felt like we needed the three points and that Chelsea game was, was unbelievable and to get the winner in front of the crowd, in front of the lights, you just said it there, there's, there's no better feeling and it's something I'm very proud of. You spoke about how proud you were to make your debut in the Premier League. It's obviously been a long journey for you to come back to that level. What does it mean to you now to be an established Premier League player? I wouldn't say established yet, but I always think if you've hit 100 caps in the Premier League, you know, you could say you've, you've had a good career and to get to the Premier League is amazing. Um, but yeah, I think it's been quite enjoyable, you know, seeing different leagues and coming across different managers, different tactics. It's been eye-opening and it's, it's benefited me massively, as well as playing in different positions as well. That's been a, been a big thing and, like I said, the main thing is to get the, back to the Premier League. That was, that was the first thing on my mind when I signed for Blackburn, was to, to try and help Blackburn get the Premier League. But if it wasn't, then hopefully I could try and get back to the Premier League. How much pressure do you put on yourself when it comes to goal scoring and numbers? Um, I, no pressure, really. I never put pressure on myself anyway. Um, you know, it's something that I was doing when I was a kid, so why would I start mourning now or start getting playing on my mind if I wasn't scoring? Um, that, that's football, you know. You see the best in the world miss chances, you see. But then, like you said, numbers always do talk and it's something that, that um, that I want to get more of, uh, more assists, more goals, of course, and uh, hopefully that'll come more this season. Next game on the horizon, is this one you look out for on the fixture list, Newcastle? Yeah, it is. Um, it's obviously you have so family who are Newcastle fans and, and friends, so it's a big fixture. Um, you know, as you said, I've got nothing but good words to say about Newcastle and, and how they're getting on now is they're obviously doing really well with, with the new manager and new owners and stuff. So. Yeah, it'd be interesting, but like you said, when it comes to it comes to match day, I'll be fully focused on trying to get three points. We know, obviously, you're from the area. Were you a big fan of the club growing up? Yeah, I obviously grew up watching Alan Shearer and players like them, you know, wanting to be a striker as well. It got more serious when I was probably playing striker at, at Newcastle Academy. I was still watching Shearer and wanted to be wanted to be like Shearer. And um, and yeah, he was, he was a legend at Newcastle and also a legend at Southampton, so it's uh, very nice. Split loyalties for the family this weekend, or will they? Are they Team Armstrong? No, they've got to be Team Armstrong, haven't they? So they've followed us round many times, and I've played Newcastle before with Blackburn. Uh, so that was interesting. It was good and a bit of banter. But when it comes down to the game, you know, I think they're all supporting me and they want me to do the best and, and get the win. Do you get a few more ticket requests than normal for this game, or is it a bit bit far from home? <laughs> I think it's a bit far from my mates and stuff to come, but no, yeah. Especially when we play away, you know, there's obviously a lot of family and friends who live up there who want tickets, but depends how nice they've been to us. <laughs>